hi there everybody, it's the Nicole Universe, hope everything's fine, I'm a Rashman who brings all the thermal experience, and today we're gonna discuss about my PhD thesis, my dissertation that I write right now about the chapters, contents and bibliography and things of this nature inside of it, what are the topics and etc. What do I write about? I write about robust clustering. Robust clustering, it is a robust statistics application in the field of AI. It means that, what does, uh, what does mean robust robust you maybe know robust it is kind of nice kind of strong powerful and with uh, jesus christ <laughs> power yes and it is powerful nice system that works all day long for example yes and nothing will be kind of uh, interrupted this work yes it is uh, the this meaning in our life of robustness yes but what is it robust clustering what is robust statistics robust statistics let's start from it robust statistics it is when we have data, 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 and some noises, 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 noises. And robust, uh, robust statistics means that these noises will not be, will not be interrupting this data and corrupting it. It will be kind of strong and nice statistical data, and everything will be fine. It means with numbers, for example, we have data: ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, and one, one, one million. Yes, and it is kind of Jesus Christ something kind of. Uh, and mean number will be really kind of changed and the mean number average number yes average mean uh, in statistics it, it is the same it is uh, will be changed because uh, 10,000 10,000 10,000 10,000 and 1 million it will be kind of Jesus Christ mean number is super kind of uh, near to, uh, to to 1 million but actually the data of uh, majority of the data of re 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 recipients or how to say it uh, respondents of answers and uh, they are 10,000 for example they uh, people uh, for example interviewers are asking about salary in the ha in the town and majority of people said 10,000 10,000 10,000 10,000 and once said uh, 1 million it will be kind of deviation super mega high and it means that some uh, data that should be thought about that it is uh, some another group of people and need to kind of uh, place it split it need to place one group here and another group here it is sociological test for example sociological ec in econo economics you can use it in different types of uh, deviations in bi biology and different types of mammals zebras and penguins and uh, different types of things that are uh, jumping around uh, <laughs> in africa or maybe on the north poles yes and uh, okay, let's go. We are here with robust statistics and also we have robust clustering. Robust clustering, it is the algorithms and methods of finding the clusters in the data. For example, computer think. Computer tries to think. Actually, he does algorithmically things inside of it and he tries to learn data and artificial intelligence things are happening here and they are learning through clustering. Clustering, we have some data with specific features that are coded with with numbers and uh, etc and uh, actually could be sometimes uh, <laughs> coded with the un energy of electrons and uh, of electricity actually and uh, power and voltage and things of this nature okay but actually zeros one zeros ones uh, that are then d d encrypted into the into the decimal decimal de decimal way of representation or maybe hexadecimal and uh, or unary binary ternary hexadecimal octal decimal x hexadecimal yes and okay we have clustering clustering is here yes uh, clustering and uh, it is the way how we find uh, some similarities between some sets and uh, dissimilarities between some sets too and okay we have uh, we have it and robust clustering it is about the finding correct data without some of the noises outliers and things of this nature of deviation we need to find robust clusters here it is what i do actually it is my work about this field but we have also even deeper thing inside of this topic it is a robust clustering and robust methods of finding or searching for the centers of clusters for example we have Cl clusters, yes, and we have center of this cluster. It is the most representative, uh, representative person. For example, we have uh, ten people in the collective, in the specific staff, in the specific command, uh, in the specific team. Yeah, yes, I mean command. When I say it is 
means uh, because in Russian commander means uh, people, people in one team. Okay, and uh, when I said collective, uh, collective, it is uh, the same in Russian language. We use uh, this word. But okay, we have we have uh, people, ten people, and we need to find the average person in this uh, in in this field, like the most represent uh, representative person in this uh, group of people. Yes, for example, we think about uh, for example one specific job yes and uh, we need to describe the average average engineer what uh, what does he do or maybe average uh, janitor what ha what does he do in his life yes and or maybe we think about uh, average person in cashier yes average uh, cashier what does he do or does she do yes uh, what what do they do actually and uh, it is uh, average average means that not the outlying super mega performing and Jesus Christ they are mega productive and maximizing and uh, th something like this and we also don't think about mini minimum people who are kind of ah, I'm Jesus Christ here on my job I kind of spit and uh, burp and things of this nature on my on, on 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 my job and I wait till I go home we think about average person who has his own pros and cons and uh, etc and it is kind of uh, what do I mean pros and cons actually we find the person person who is average on skills, average on something, average on some measurable data. Maybe with height. We measure with height. We maybe have a midget or maybe we have the giant and we we need to find someone who is uh, on, on the average height. Yes, it is about it. Not only about skills, not only about their attitude on their job and etc. Okay, it is about finding the average of, sa of some sets. 10 people and we need to find one average one. Average in terms of the not kind of average with uh, negative uh, connotation of oh Jesus Christ average person, uh, but but average in terms of the statistical data it is another thing it is a kind of measurement yes it is the same as uh, you are counting your trend of growth of in some stocks market or maybe you are counting your money and you are counting how many money do you spend each day yes and uh, you are kind of averaging it it doesn't mean that you you count your average and it is a negative connotation oh average money and etc you count uh, the numbers yes because uh, we have different types of connotations in, in society for specific uh, words and etc okay positive connotation for every everything that said because it's a scientific uh, thing and uh, scientific notation means that it is kind of uh, cold cold in terms of the yes with some think thinkful process rational rationalizing it yes it is uh, rationalizing it will be the good word rationalizing connotation of it yes when we think about the data actually okay and we have average number and it is the center and I have the algorithms and I work on the field of finding the algorithms, creating and doing heuristics of algorithms to find the centers of the clusters. It is uh, robust, robust methods. It means that if we'll have some dots here and one more dot here, then center will be somewhere there because so uh, the Jesus Christ, I imagine the Cartesian coordinates right now. And we have the point here and 10 points here and uh, average will be somewhere there. But actually, the, if we will cut off this outlier, then it will be the center here. Yes, and uh, it is uh, the things, so uh, they are done by medians, by some trimmed means. And winsorizing means uh, it is uh, different types of measures that we have. Uh, winsorizing mean it is when we cut off quantiles of the highest and lowest uh, positions. For example, 3% of highest, 3% uh, of lowest, and deviations will be kind of cut off. It is uh, it is trimmed mean. Trimmed arithmetic mean. Also we have arithmetic mean. It is when we own, o only kind of 100% of data take and etc. Also we have winsorizing mean. It is when we do 3% percent or five percent or six percent of the highest and lowest and we change them by the average it means we replace them not the not cut off action but uh, but it is the action of changing them to the mean number of the average uh, what's uh, what's left here it is t student distrib distribution will be kind of uh, and we have bell curve it is kind of uh, bell curve it is gaussian distribution normal distribution also we have uh, t student student uh, distribution yes and uh, we have different types of them it is actually statistic stuff 
Okay, and I do about it and what's inside of my chapters. It is kind of, when I speak about it, actually I do planning, because not the kind of planning, planning at the same time, because we have different things when we say something, we actually share it with people, it is first also, I do kind of planning in my head, I do structurizing them while speaking about it, and also I do practicing speaking about this topic, because uh, it, uh, it improves the skills, yes, and uh, it is uh, what I like to do, it is the same as uh, singing. Singing, singing songs, yes, uh, some people can uh, see, oh, wow, nice, you, you are a nice singer, but actually you do practice in the same time, and uh, actually you do practice, it, it, it is the same as you are maybe professional athlete, and you do kind of, you, you do classes for the people, and actually you improve your skills too, while you're teaching other people, it is uh, like improve, improve, by by improving others, you improve yourself too. It is kind of motto of our life. Yes. Okay, let's go next. We have the. We have the chapters in in my PhD actually PhD dissertation dis, dis, dissertation or or PhD thesis. And uh, I want to write it faster right now. And uh, first chapter, it is about some theoretical kind of history of it. McCulloch, Pitts, uh, also Rosenblatt's uh, Perceptron of 1958-1960 uh, uh, implementation of it. Also about uh, some statistics, robust statistics, and etc. Kind of uh, some theoretical stuff about it uh, inside of this field because need to do a literature review, yes, and etc. Actually, in Russia, we called it theoretical, uh, theoretical, theoretical chapter. And uh, it is uh, kind of you need to show your knowledge, your intelligence, uh, that you are intelligent and you are qualified in this field, and uh, need to show it. Actually, I will be the PhD if everything will be fine. Actually, uh, because sometimes we have some changes in laws and uh, in terms of the not laws uh, but regulations and names and uh, nomenclature of uh, names and notations of the names of the specializations, and I will be the PhD in physics, uh, physics, math mathematics. Uh, in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay, and uh, it is uh, first will be theoretical thing about uh, robustness, about, okay, about history, about robustness, what is robustness, about clustering, about known already algorithms of clustering, and etc. Second chapter. So the second chapter, I plan that it will be kind of my development of different algorithms. My development means that sometimes need to change it for the some specific data. It will be not super with exemplish things. Exemplish, I mean that uh, it will, will not be fulfilled with some real life examples. It will be pure math, pure math examples. Yes, pure math when we do kind of formulas and etc. It will be the second chapter about robust, uh, robust methods inside of this field. And last but not least, it will be last chapter, third chapter with implementations in different fields, such as organology, music theory, and uh, kind of music stuff around the inst instruments, musical instruments, viola, viola da gamba, viola da mur, clarinet da mur, alt alto clarinet, you heard this stuff already <laughs> several times, or maybe measurably it's super a lot. Actually, why do I record video, shorts video? Because uh, somebody who wants to learn taxonomy of different uh, and uh, actually to learn different and musical instruments, he will hear it, okay, wow, amazing, and he will hear it with, uh, without kind of words of and also, and, and, etc., and he will hear only the words, kind of, only tags, or tags, what do I mean by it, tags, T-A-G-S, it means that only one word of the instrument, another word, another word, another word, and etc., for example, viola, viola da gamba, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, contrabassoon, tenaroon, and etc., but I could say it also like a guitar with strings I play it and also I we hear it and etc without some of the words of uh, of kind of descriptions of the instruments but only with names yes it is kind of array of names the specific tuple of names specific box of names of the specific instruments that's why I recorded to be more familiar by myself but to to improve others by improving myself in terms of the 
in terms of the, the the providing value to the people who wants to know some musical instruments, a list of them, yes? Because uh, on internet we can find kind of ah, 20 of the most popular musical instruments on our world. And piano, guitar, flute, uh, fiddle, and etc. But actually with some interesting, maybe a gogo, a, a, a foxy, a gunk, an klunk, and coxian, and etc. And uh, it is kind of interesting to people sometimes to dive into this and uh, to learn something new maybe in this list and maybe it, it will be the check, it will be the examination for the people who are kind of hearing about these instruments. They hear about it and, wow, I didn't hear, uh, he, I, I haven't heard about this musical instruments. And he will go on the web and uh, he will Google about it uh, or she will Google about it and will find some information. Yes, it is uh, interesting because uh, people c could find something new. I, I really like this content. I w would like to see some content of it from another person who maybe will create a video when he does enumerating of different types of programming languages, for example, or different types of algorithms and in AI, it is kind of dictionary, but fast set dictionary with only words. And it is interesting, I think so, because it you will find your next room of improvement, because, ah, my neighbors, they do kind of repairing. Okay. And okay, and it is uh, you maybe you maybe hear some drrr sounds. Okay, this, uh, some drills and tr tr th things of this. Okay, uh, let's go next. Oh, uh, first chapter: theoretical, second algorithms, and third implementation in music, in different types of organology and description of uh, dif uh, ident identification of, of different types of musical instruments and average, average. Uh, average of them for i mean that uh, for example you you have different types of idiophones membranophones aerophones chordophones electrophones it is uh, the classification of horn bostel zacks horn it is horn bostel zacks classification idiophones it is uh, instruments such as xylophone or it is uh, vibraphone could be i mean xylophone xylophone marimba xylophone marimba it is idiophones that are kind of sound they sound by their own. I mean, their own in terms of the kind of... Uh... Listen. Yes, you can hear it. Also, membranophones. Membranophones with some membranas that uh, kind of butter drums, bongo drums, uh, djembe, and uh, snare drum, and etc. Bass drum, and etc. It is membranophones. Also, we have uh, aerophones. It is uh, flute, oh boy, uh, flute, uh, this way, flute, flute, uh, and uh, different types of saxophone, and helicon, and tuba, Wagner tuba, and etc. And we have different types of musical instruments, uh, such such as air, inside of the aerophones area, aerophones field, aerophones uh, taxonomy, inside of the kind of box box of aerophones. Uh, when I say box, it is set 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 of aerophones. Yes, and uh, also we have chordophones, some guitars, banjos, mandolins, and uh, fiddles, and uh, this type of cellos. Yes, and uh, octobas. Speaking this like you are from the Tom and Jerry, and you are a Tom. Yes. Yes, uh, this Tom, and uh, you are doing octobus, octobusing, and uh, octobus it is uh, the bigger one than uh, than double bus. It is uh, the instrument that is bigger than double bus. It is kind of lower with the sound. You can Google octobus and double bus and see the difference. Actually, uh, double bus it is not name for for contrabass. We have contrabass and octobus. Octobus it is kind of lower and. Uh, Double bus, it is a little bit uh, higher, yeah, but not. Uh, it is kind of one octave or maybe two octaves. Okay, you can Google it. One, I think that one octave lower. <laughs> well, kind of. It is the same as bass and bass profunda. Bass profunda in the voicemail, in in the male voices, it is uh, bass profunda. It is lower than bass. Okay, and also have bass, bass profunda, bass, bass baritone, baritone, tenor, contour tenor, contralto, alto, mezzo soprano, soprano, coloratura soprano, sopranino. It is uh, different types of uh, voices uh, with going higher with uh, with people people's voices. Yes. Okay, we have different types of voices, and it is it's amazing. And uh, different types of classification in music field. It will be first. Second, it is implementations. Implementations. It is uh, the fancy word to say applications. Okay, <laughs> kind of. It, uh, but actually, we have some meanings of this. It is uh, deeper implementation. In most cases, it is, in most cases, it is uh, 
application application in terms of the I think so in terms of the kind kind of computing or some this area, but actually need to Google need to find that etymology etymology of it implementation limitation uh, etymology. Let's find it to complete perform carry into effect one moment uh, a feeling up Impleo Impleo I feel up kind of implementation but application application i think so it is kind of to connect a bit yes application let's find it it is applicary apply I need to look at apply okay apply what is it fast and to fault to picaro to fault fault what is it i don't know what's name i i i heard about it kind of vocal Fault or something. Fault. Fault. Bend something flexible over on its uh, itself that in part it covers another cover or wrap something. Okay. okay. And the process is uh, as a result of financial. Okay. Okay. It is kind of application, but uh, imp imp implementation uh, seems uh, better. Kind of uh, implementation is it is kind of boop. Uh, it is kind of. When we put something in the some field, yes, apply it to, to something. Okay, applications implementation is the same thing, almost. But uh, if we, with deeper etymology, then it is another uh, different. Okay, implementations in uh, music, music kind of uh, music, music, music the theory, organology, and etc. Next, marketing. Marketing in terms of the words, natural language processing, natural language understanding, natural natural language. Generation NLP and NLP, NLG, and in this field, uh, it will be applied to also in terms of the words that are people saying and how they communicate to each other, how they Google and search engine optimization. Okay, next third third part will be for some finance. I think so about some market market stock uh, stock market uh, uh, and etc. And the so last it will be about uh, but not least it will be about uh, for sport and uh, different types of hockey playing soccer football and also sports as dancing to and dancing to some and uh, different types of moves and averaging out of specific movements of the specific dancing styles for example salsa or maybe you do dancing or waltz and you can imagine kind of average movements of this uh, directions how they are kind of latin dancing yes it is kind of with shaky shaky and etc but belly Dance. It will be more shaky, shaky, and uh, more shimmy, full. Yes, and uh, but uh, Latina it is more like smooth. Yes, and shake, shake. It will be belly dance, and also whilst it is more kind of uh, with rhythmically and with the kind of uh, gold. And I mean golden royal, royal, royal European thing, uh, style. Yes, okay, and. Uh, Okay, and you understand it, and actually it will be in in this field and uh, with uh, some robustness. I imagine that, uh, for example, you you have ten dancers, and uh, some of them they are doing eight eight of them do some, huh? Ah, no, 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 ten dancers, and also two people. Uh, I imagine the the platform or the specific event, 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 event. The room, hall, in the hall, in the ground, the lift, uh, in the, the, the hall, <laughs> the lift, hobbit. Okay, and uh, in in the uh, hall, hall in terms of H A L L. In the hall, you have people inside of it, yes, and uh, they are dancing. There, there are ten dancers and two workers inside of it, uh, inside of this hall, and two workers. They are kind of uh, not the noises of our life. In real life, they are nice fellows and good uh, people, actually. But in terms of the mathematics, they are noises because they do kind of movements that are not dancing movements. And uh, when you look at them, you kind of. Uh, when you do, when you are a computer, you think, oh Jesus Christ! So why do don't they do wild dancing moves? And uh, it is need to cut off in terms of the 
data. In terms of the data, need no need to look at them. Need to abstract yourself in the field of only that we look only to this side. Yes, for example, I imagine that here is some gnome and uh, or maybe a dwarf and he is dancing here, leprechaun. And but actually, you need to look at this side of the screen and uh, no need to look at the this leprechaun. It is the same as, uh, for example, in the school, maybe teacher is speaking something and uh, children should listen to him and when some th somebody will ca come in and uh, maybe it will be kind of the person who need to change the bulb and yes we understand that children will watch the person who changes the bulb but actually no need to focus on it need to focus on on your teacher but actually uh, it is more funner to look at the person who does some bulb uh, bulb uh, twisting and turning and uh, kind of uh, changing by the way let me know in the comment section below do in your country do do people uh, do people in your country change bulbs during the class uh, class uh, cl classes? It is interesting to know because I'm from Russia and I had not I ha have uh, no experiences in terms of the participating in these classes uh, in uh, in other countries. Yes, and uh, it is interesting to know in terms of the kind of European countries uh, or maybe some of the African or American or uh, North or Latin American. Uh, I let me know the comment section below, it will be interesting to know. So, thank you a lot for watching this video, because uh, in my uh, un in my school I remember some moments there we were, not, uh, it is a rarity actually, but sometimes uh, during the class you maybe can see some workers that do some stuff because of uh, it doesn't work and need to, engineers are here, okay, and uh, they are technicians and need to change it, uh, some things, okay. Okay, thank you a lot for watching this video, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, let me know the uh, in the comment section below, did you understand it or not, actually, if you want to learn more, I can say some tags for you, and you can read about it more, it is uh, different types of algorithms and words related to the topic when I do the research, related, uh, more related, or a little bit less related, in terms of the kind of, I imagine that we we have the scale from from t here will be 10 uh, and uh, from 10 to 0 and uh, some will be related more in terms of the 8 8 uh, out of 10 and some will be 4 out of 10 but actually they will be related okay k means k means plus plus k means sharp db scan h db scan st algorithms uh, special temporal algorithms in the field in the field of clustering Mahalanobis distance, Euclidean distance, square to Euclidean distance, uh, Manhattan's distance, Minkowski distance, uh, Chebyshev distance, uh, cosine similarity measure, and uh, also Diana, Diana in terms of the divisive something, 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 Agnes, Agnes agglomerative nesting, Ward, Ward uh, spectral clustering, Agglomerative clustering, divisive clustering, you can read kind of about it, uh, k-means, em algorithm, id3 algorithm, parson window, and etc. It's actually two arms that I need to learn more about it too, actually, about some of them, not about uh, every, actually, but about every, it will be nice to learn more, to deep, uh, uh, to dive into them more, but actually it is the words that are related to the stuff, kind of, uh, if you want to read more, it will be for you. And about the kind of books that you can read about it, actually statistics and uh, mathematical statistics and uh, the probability theory. You can read about it and uh, it will be enough to understand how these uh, devices work. In terms of the kind of solving tasks, need to th need to read statistics, uh, kind of books, uh, th the more scientific full, the better sometimes. And uh, and uh, you can read some terms and uh, try to connect it with real life uh, if we will teach some machines to think as humans. Actually, because w humans think in terms of the statistics kind of ish. Yes, uh, in terms of the, that maybe this, maybe that, and we think about what has the most, the, the biggest weight, weight in terms of the W-E-I-G... HT, yes, and uh, in terms of the weight, kind of uh, more, I think 72% uh, that it will be the right decision, and you go there, and uh, or you go to another direction, <laughs> left, <laughs> or up, uh, down, okay, and uh, right in terms of the, I did the, some puns here, okay, and um, <laughs> so thank you a lot for watching this video, have a good day, Bruce Aldelli, and uh, enjoy the day, bye!